late August 2011, Hurricane Irene caused extensive damage, flooding, and destruction to communities across the eastern United States. In less than a week's time, Tropical Storm Lee would move through many of the same areas, bringing additional flooding to communities already inundated by historic flooding from Irene. We were extremely engaged for approximately six months from the time the event happened. The events occurred in September and uh, well into the new year we still had a very significant operation. When you're dealing with disaster and long-term recovery, the, the communities that were mostly impacted because of Irene and Lee are still recovering to the, this day in 2016. This is, this is an example of infrastructure damage. This road was totally destroyed. This stream doesn't belong here. This stream belongs over against the mountain, which we did get some federal dollars to help redirect that stream back over there to try to protect and mitigate uh, losing this piece of infrastructure again. This bridge was totally destroyed. People were stranded on the other side of the bridge. Um, we actually put a zip line, a cable with pulleys and sent supplies over on a zip line um, across the creek uh, for essential supplies like water and and food and that kind of thing. So we had no access to that side of the creek for, for approximately four days. A specific example of that joint effort, uh, again, between our federal partners and, and as well as the, uh, the state, uh, was in our area of housing. We had over hundreds of individuals that had lost their homes, and we needed to find them um, someplace that, that they could go ahead and start to rebuild their lives. On the housing end of things, we were really trying to get people into housing uh, by the Christmas holiday, by the end of the year, so that people would have a place to celebrate the holidays and be with their families and, and feel like they had some real sense of recovery going on. We accomplished that goal and people moved in on Christmas Eve. Without FEMA's attention to that detail and the cooperation between the local government, county government, state government, and federal government, it would have never happened. What stands out about the recovery side is that, again, it validates, you know, when something bad happens, people are committed to helping people. I have one hardware store that's been hit a number of times from a flood, time after time after time and finally said, we've had enough, but not to have enough to close the doors and move or stop business. I went and bought another building and set up the hardware store in a different part of town where it's gonna be nice and dry. When we talk about resilience, here it is. This is resilience. They're moving forward, um, and that's what uh, really matters. It's n nobody held up, threw up their hands and said, you know, we quit and I walk away. Um, they're, they're reinventing themselves, and um, it's just, it's a great example for uh, resiliency. Irene would become one of the costliest hurricanes in U.S. history, followed closely by Lee. The storms had a significant impact on communities and changed many forever. And looking back, we have seen not only the worst that Mother Nature can inflict, but the best that comes from the people who work together to rebuild and strengthen our communities.